Today we're getting a whole fistful of ass. By ass, I mean beer. By beer, I mean stout. Because it's the most, most wonderful, wonderful time, time of the year. And we don't have a delicious stout recipe on our channel yet. See, when I was a little kid, my favorite thing to do was murder cinnamon toast crunch. Now that I'm an adult, my favorite thing to do is murder beers. So today we're going to combine forces. We got a lot going on with this recipe today. But nothing stands out more than this yeast. Omega just put my favorite yeast of theirs in dry form. So if this is your first time on the channel, you better subscribe or I'll get you. What is going on guys? It's CH from Homebrew for Life. You saw the title, you know why you're here. And sorry for the rain. It's raining cats and dogs right now. We got all the ingredients right here. Huge shout out to Uncle Todd from Northern Brewer for always coming through. Let's talk about the recipe. We've been talking about making this recipe on our live stream for a while now. So it's time to turn talk into actions. You don't want to be all talk, do you? You can call this a porter, you can call it a stout. I thought knowing the difference used to matter, but now I see every libation is just a marketing tool so you can call it anything that you want. And tune into next week where we're going to make a hard seltzer for loco hazy IPA 30 minutes or it's free. I did learn something today though. Don't run your cereal through your mash. I added it all in clogged it and then had to sieve it all out it's a crow eat crow world and fyi all ingredients will be in the description below the goal for today is to brew and clean up in under three and a half hours being done with brew day before noon is expert level homebrewing getting drunk for eight hours and having 20 people over and making 12 percent beers that's for the rookies we're mixing up our system today we mix it up way too much but especially today we're combining an electric brew in a bag grain basket with our propane setup let me tell you something it works extremely well. No pulley system, just put it on a barbecue tray of some sort, recirculate and sparge manually. Brewers have their own balance of mashing in and sparging, but I'm kind of just combining both of these today. Just recirculate the whole time until you get your efficiency. Does disrupting the grain bed even matter? Back in the day, we used to batch sparge. Thumbs up in this video if you've ever batch sparged. I've got some wort to cool it down. Let's give it a sample taste. Tastes exactly like the cereal. <laughs> We're messing with lactose today. So you might want to remove this from the recipe if you're lactose intolerant. I am cool with lactose if it's no more than a quarter pounds to five gallon scale. Anything else and I'm pulling a finch. Last thing you want to be doing is pulling a finch at one of your favorite watering holes. So we've got lactose, we've got cinnamon, one cinnamon stick, we've got our cereal, and it's all going into a stout. A little bit more expensive, but not gonna break the bank. We're doing a 30 minute boil today. We're doing one ounce of Northern Brewer, 30 minutes and one ounce of flame out. The one at 30 minutes does kind of make me nervous. I don't want it to be too hoppy. I don't want it to be too bitter. I don't want it to compete too much with all the cinnamon and sugar. Everything else is going in at flame out. Appreciate this B-roll footage. I actually don't appreciate it at all. Why do I still film these shots? All right, don't fear the foam. While you're at it, don't fear the reaper. Look at this little brush. Sprinkle it lightly into my favorite fermenter of all time. Gravity is 1054. That's absolutely perfect. And we had airlock activity within two hours. Nothing too crazy, but it's still moving. Want to know a secret? Pitch your Kvike yeast around 110. I pitched it at 115 before, and the beer was delicious. Now we play the waiting game, so it's time for intermission. A mandatory intermission. So here we go. The money's all gone. The good-looking girls are all taken. All we have left is beer. Final gravity finished out at 1010, leaving us with an ABV of 5.8%. That's absolutely perfect. Color looks great. No need to add gelatin or biofine. I don't add that stuff to stouts or malty beers. I only add that stuff to lagers, pale ales, and uh, IPAs, the bitter stuff. The yeast did ferment a little bit slower in the Boscovike. Full disclaimer, this is five days later. I made a video... Last couple of videos, I've made a two-day fermentation with Voskovike and a three-day hazy IPA with Voskovike. This didn't go as fast. Not a problem, though. Still better than waiting two weeks. I usually use a quick carb thing, but I already have that on a beer right now, and I only have one. So this was at 15 PSI for 24 hours. Looks good. I just turned it back down. Remember to turn it back down. Bubbles look good. All right, here we go. The virgin sip. Smells great. Kind of smells like a dick. It's absolutely delicious. Little hoppy in the back. Little hoppy in the back. Cereal in the front. Little bit of bite in the back. Kind of a bummer. I wish I would have used just one ounce at flame out. I don't know if that zoomed in or not. The sweetness is there in the beginning. Yeah, I'm gonna call it cinnamon toast crunch stout. And I, if I had a tasting room, I'd put it on. I would just do one ounce at, at the end though. Or flip the script. Make it a black IPA. Don't use the cereal. Add some more marisotter, some more sugar. 
and boil it for 60 minutes with another hop, with another ounce. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Stout. If you have a better name for it though. You can rename it. I wanna give a shout out. Shout out to Chris, Heather, and Pat for coming up with a name that people enjoyed in the last Grain of Glass video. Give it a name in the comment section. And if you win, I'll get a face tattoo of your face. I'll give you a shout out in our next Grain of Glass video. We're doing a West Coast IPA. We're bringing it back. The life on Mars of craft beer. Thank you for watching this week's video. We got a lot of shitty food videos coming up. Cheers to eating good. Cheers to drinking good. NBC.